Ben Roethlisberger. Troubled offseason with injuries, the motorcycle accident, appendectomy, concussion during the regular year. Those are not characteristic of his play. The first two years, 14 touchdowns, 20. Now out comes Gardaki, the left footer to punt. Tay Biddle, one of the kick returners. This one is a high wobbler. And Biddle tackled at the 35-yard line. Third down and two for Carolina. Winky into the shotgun with Foster at his side. And Michael Gaines, the tight end, dumps it underneath. 43. But uh, Deshaun Foster unable to get to the past the line of scrimmage as Larry Foote there quickly and had plenty of support. And no gain on third and two. Out comes the punt team. Both D'Angelo Williams, a rookie, and Deshaun Foster in the backfield. Winky's got a hurry. They've got him wrestled in a standing position, unable to move. A sack for the Steelers at the 40 is Brett Kiesel, who has four sacks coming into the game. Roethlisberger, the quick throw to the sidelines to Ward, and he's got it at the 48 of the Panthers. And listen to the Steeler fans cheer. Ward's been out the last couple of weeks with a knee injury, working against a very good corner. Roethlisberger gives him the fastball, and that butterfly net goes out there, and he just snatches it. That wasn't a knee, because all the weight was on that left leg. Steelers first to visit in Carolina territory, and here comes Willie Parker, and he's down to the 38-yard line, close to a first down. Niall Diggs tripped him up. Parker, who barely played at North Carolina, undrafted. Quick throw out to Ward. Ward, a fine runner, and he ducks out of bounds at the 30. A gain of about eight more, and a first down for the Steelers. Now Najee Davenport moves back to block. Roethlisberger pumps and throws to Davenport on the screen. 20-10. Down to the two. What a good call. At junior football, high school football, college football, when you're running with the, bo the ball, Split the tacklers. Watch Najee Davenport go between tacklers. Between them again. Between them again. And it almost gets him in the end zone. 18-yard play. First and goal, Pittsburgh. When we come back, second quarter. Willie Parker, the tailback. The fake by Roethlisberger. Is he going to run it in? You bet. Listen to the Steeler reaction in Carolina. See him come off the ball and engage the defensive line for Carolina. There was nobody in pursuit. The nearest man was Julius Peppers, and he was well off the pitch. Shotgun Winky on second and long. Blitz. Oh, do they get there in a hurry? James Ferrier. He was in Winky's face before he could step up to throw. Ferrier with his fourth sack of the season. Because everyone's worried about, okay, where, where's the blitz? Who's coming? And yet you go outside, you've got two decisions. One is, who do I block? And B is, do I take the inside guy? And the first one was correct, the last one was wrong. The inside. Really, Parker behind Roethlisberger. Holmes in motion. Parker. Started right, heads left, 20, 25. Look at the speed out to the 35-yard line. Out of bounds at the 36. And Thomas Davis, who played safety at Georgia now, a linebacker, has terrific speed, and he needed it to get to Parker and bump him out of bounds. The two words you hear most associated with Willie Parker are contain and, Kurt, and, and really corral. And this defense does neither. The young linebacker Davis, number 58, got a very, very unusual burst that surprises defenses and surely did Carolina. 21 yards on that, 45 for the game. Here he comes again around the right side, 40. He's got some strength, too, just pushes the tackler out of the way, and he's out of bounds at the 46, just trailing the Redskins by three. Najee Davenport for Parker after he picked up a couple of quick first downs near midfield, and now the end around. is said, Lawson, he's going to throw the ball. Beautiful throw, and it's complete to the 33-yard line to Heinz Ward. Antoine Randall who? <laughs> Cedric Wilson, yes. That was Antoine Randall's job here with Pittsburgh to be the throwing threat, and this is with authority. You know, you don't often say the wide receiver really zipped that thing in there, but he zipped that thing in there like a quarterback. 21 and he, yards. And he was throwing to a quarterback. Heinz Ward, guy that's been known to uh, throw a few balls from time to time. Second down. 
for the Steelers. Roethlisberger going to keep it. 25, 20, and ducks out of bounds. Another first down to the delight of these Steeler fans. It's not a long drive from Pittsburgh, and many making the trip. Steelers eating up big chunks of yardage on every play on this drive. First down at the 19. Back to Parker. And he's down to the 10, and a gain of nine before Thomas Davis can drag him down. And Parker having a huge second quarter as he's hiked his numbers up to 70 yards in the game. Watch the defensive front four you were talking about there, Dick. They go sideways. And when they go sideways, and Rucker, I mean, the really the guy that gets fooled is 77, Jenkins. He's so out of position, that opens that hole up. And... Miller in motion. They like to go to the tight end in this situation. Instead, they go underneath the Holmes, and Holmes fighting to the end zone. Touchdown! What a second effort by the rookie from Ohio State. That was a wonderful play design. It was a nice delivery, but by the time Santonio Holmes got there, that had already been cleared out. Thomas Davis couldn't make the tackle, and Santonio Holmes wasn't letting the DB do it. After review, the runner's elbow was down, short of the goal line. Carolina was not charged with a timeout. That makes it fourth down. The clock will start in the ready for play. Wow, they put it on the two-yard line. Drive by Volga as they penalized him 10,000. Dump it out of the backfield to Foster. And Foster eludes one man, but there's plenty of support at the 25. James Ferrier. So third and long, and Winky under pressure. And down he goes. Another sack. Brett Kiesel gets this one a solo for him. He's been good all season as he uh, replaced Kimo Von Olhofen at that defensive right end position. He's had 20 quarterback pressures and. Uh, it's a relentless vice that it closes on Chris Winky. Kiesel does a very nice job of staying persistent and frustrating further this Carolina offense. That's a great call, Randy Cross. The vice is closing. Who wants him? Hunt by Baker with Holmes. And it's blocked at the 10 and rolls to the 12. Picked up by Ike Taylor and out of bounds at the 9. Let's check the penalty flags. Were they offside? I think, I think it's going to be holding. Defense or offense? Uh, on the offensive player. Absolutely tackles. I mean, we're not even talking about kind of. James Harrison gets taken kick. down. Holding. Offense number 88. Penalty declined. First down. Watch coming off the edge. Harrison 92. Grab that left arm right there. Spins him around. And it was unanimous. That was not only thrown by the referee, it was thrown by the side judge. And thrown with authority. That was an excellent call and a great job by Harrison. In uh, more than 300 attempts in the league. Here it is, third and goal. From out at the 13. Roethlisberger just gets it away. It's a screen. The Davenport had worked before. It works again. Touchdown. For Najee Davenport. Simmons is the last one out. Hardings, Fanica, Simmons, touchdown Davenport. You've got to get the protection. You've got to stretch this D a little. Here comes the blitz. Winky can't get it off. Down he goes at the 45 in the arms of Aaron Smith. Larry Foote was there as well. James Ferrier just comes with his blitz. Here's Foote. There's Foote on, on the feet right here, and that's half a, half a sack. Linebackers creeping up on the line of scrimmage, and here they come. Picked up nicely. Not now, though. Winky's down. Five sacks, and it's Aaron Smith who gets him. Quick throw over the middle. Complete to Holmes. He drags a tackler to the 20 and has the first down. Ken Lucas had him before the marker, but Holmes showing his strength, and he's done that on a couple of occasions. Remember the play on the goal line. That's not real complicated. It's a good blitz read. Good body position by Santonio Holmes, and from then on, it's want to. Third down and four. Najee Davenport, who has worked a couple of excellent screens in this formation. Roethlisberger hit in the backfield, gets away, throws wide open upfield. Is Keith Miller the tight end and a first down at the 47? 
for Carolina to make it 17 3. Oops. Roethlisberg slips, plants, throws, complete, Heinz Ward. 35. In front of Sean Williams. Okay. Does Ward have fun playing this game? No, no one has more fun, plays harder, and probably plays with a bigger smile on his face. And hey, who, Dick, whoever said this is a game of impeccable timing? Because timing-wise, you'd say that play doesn't work. Ben Roethlisberger almost falls down. The protection is uh, okay. But it was, it was because of Heinz Ward and the way he was working that that play worked. 21 yards to Heinz Ward. We're down to nine. Deep down the middle and complete at the 47-yard line. A strike to Nate Washington. First down, Parker. Got some room now. Fast Willie looking for the end zone. He found it. 41 yards for Willie Parker as he jumps over the century mark again. What did I say about his speed? About three quarters at the defensive line and linebackers, but if you let him get to the DBs, pro effort as a young tight end, opening that hole. But look at the body position and the body and the back angle. You hear about keeping your back flat? Look how that angle of, of Fanica's body perfectly isolates the defender and opens up that hole. And there is not a chance in the world, Mike Minner. I always thought those other guys did that all the time for the Steelers running. Now over 1,300 yards on the season with uh, two games to play. Winky, shirt tail down. Does he get rid of it? I believe they blew the whistle on it, or are they going to allow the incomplete pass? Uh, incomplete. Catches 144 yards, and the touchdown is rolled an ankle and will not return. Winky being chased. Now oh, he's able to throw it away. Did he get it beyond the line of scrimmage? Yes. Deion Bynum, maybe, a cornerback. So they'll kick it again, and the Steelers come up with a break there after Holmes had muffed the punt. Beautiful kick by Baker. Holmes will try to latch onto this one and does it for 35, 40, 45. Wouldn't you figure this? Going to go all the way, isn't he? Unless the kicker can get him. Casey, he can't, or Baker, he can't. And Holmes goes from muffing a punt to turning one for a touchdown. Oh, my. 65 yards. The Gunners went high and went by Santonio Holmes, and he just gets some excellent blocks inside. Casey can't get a sniff. Baker, actually, the punter, yeah. Or Baker, yeah, he can't get a sniff. And, no, oh, that was... Just an excellent job of tight roping down the sideline at the end. Almost went out of bounds there about the 12 yard line. In the very first game of the season when they lost three key players by injury in game one. Long pass Winky. Incomplete and it's intercepted. Picked off by the rookie Anthony Smith and he hot dogs it out of bounds. Out around the midfield and some of the fans are. Well here come uh, the Carolina Panthers taking exception to. Uh, Anthony Smith's display and look at Bill Cower. You bet he's going to get right to that young man and let him know that that was uh, improper. An excellent job just adding to that great record and that great total he's got on the season. Georgia Dome next week at six and eight and seven and eight. And seven and eight, yeah, it's same as the Falcons. And hope maybe they can finish eight and then the handoff inside the Shelton and he said immediately, Rodney Bailey, as if he knew the play. Game is over. He's got a final chance to score a touchdown here. He throws the fade. Intercepted in the end zone. Well, that completes the perfect day for the Steelers. Ike Taylor with a pick. His second of the season. And Big Ben and company are going to leave town with a very impressive win. Lopsided 37-3. Well, not enough lob in his lob. He's trying to get this thing high up over the top. Trying to get it to Steve Smith, uh, not a very tall receiver, so you've got to figure that pylon you see at the very end is where that ball needs to go, and it never made it there. Who knows if they should win out, if it will fall their way and they get a chance to defend their Super Bowl title.